everybody sing that shit. Hey what's up YouTube this is Vanshun Reporter and this video I am going to show you the new update of the Advanced 7 version 2.5. I have provided the links in the description so you can easily get the thread in the XJ developers website. Developers are really working hard on this room and uh, they have just shared this awesome room with the new S8 UI and this is really amazing you can control if you want your apps on the screen just by going on the home screen and you can set home screen layout back to this if you want this on home screen but I like this like swiping so you can set it or like home screen grid etc you can hide apps from here easily and this is really amazing feature i really used to use it just by not doing anything i don't know why and here we have some features like smart view native blur edge screen like this we are really getting a good option and here we have the new native blur in edge spike mode 2 and we have the ultra data saving mode floating messages VLT support and NA.D is also added in this. So first let me show you the Android security patch and it is running on the latest Android security patch here you can see the 1, 1 January 2017 and it is currently powered by Optimix 5.7. You can also use, let me lower the brightness, uh, you can also use if you want the uh, afterburner color but I have not tried it on this room. So you can easily try, I have provided the videos in my channel, you can easily go and check it out. And if you want the previous two versions, I have also uploaded a video, you can get the links in the description down below. And uh, here we have all the simple applications, we don't have any gapps, so you have to download it separately. The link of the gapps is in the XJ thread, so you can easily go check it out in the description. So I really like this because I have tested the N2 benchmark and I'm getting around 44,000 score with the Optimax 5.7 though it is not overclocked to 1.7 GHz but still it's worth if you really want a good battery backup and I have tried it uh, from around 1 to 2 days and uh, that's why I have uploaded this video very late and I don't know why I'm uploading videos very late but really sorry guys. And I have tested this and I am really getting a backup of if you want it on a standby you can easily get almost around 2 days but if you are a normal or a regular user you can use it around up to half or a full day on a single charge but I recommend you to charge it from 0 to 100. So here we have all the basic applications it's just new applications like optical reader like UP day and like galaxy apps all the basic applications like a clock a camera app so here next 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 all the same features which you will get on every new rom of g7 and every day developers are really working hard and every week we are getting a new rom and which has which has some bugs but i really don't find any bug in this because we can all use vlt you will not get any problem of mic speaker or anything else like lock screen bug anything you will not able to find any bug in this and this the first thing is the first thing which i really want to share that this is the smoothest rom i have ever seen if you compare it with enigma or any other rom it has some issues related to lag because of the SEDU is not supporting the Enigma version room. But this Advanced 7 version 2.5, this is the latest build of the A7 2016 or 17, I, I don't know. But it is the latest build of that room. And it's really amazing. As you can see that it is fast. And even after installing very high applications, it will not take any much of your RAM. So let's check the RAM after using it for a while. So from 1.5 GB, we are still getting uh, around almost 3.8 and after clearing all the applications, we will still get almost 600 MB RAM free out of 1.5 GB, which is really good for Samsung Galaxy G7 2015 variant. And I am telling guys again and again, this is the 2015 variant videos. I have not uploaded any videos related to 2016 or Prime or any other G7 variant. So first make sure that you have checked the title clearly. So that's a small and a quick review with the A7 2017 or 16, the version 2.5. I hope you really like this video and if you did, a like will be appreciated. 
and guys before ending i really want to ask you if you really want to make me do live streams on the question and answers as you all know that i am not able to answer all your questions on your youtube comments easily so i can easily reply to each and every question of you in the live stream and if you really want to make make me live streams you can let me know in the comment section that will be really helpful and finally if you really want more videos like j7 this you can easily subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below as always i'll see you in the next video thank you